Hello everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today I'm going to do a review on my um, Versace earring collection. It's a small collection so this is going to be a quick video. Before I do, I'll go over what I'm wearing. I am wearing a shirt from... I'm going to go over what I'm wearing and I don't even remember where I got it from. <laughs> where did I get this shirt from? I think I got it from Burling Co Burlington Coat Factory a long time ago. Um, and what else? My everyday jewelry, my everyday hoops. Um, everyday rings, um, Figaro link necklace with the Tiffany and Co necklace with it, um, Cartier stack with the Tiffany's bracelet, the rings, um, Cartier, Gucci, Hermes, and the wedding stack. And then I'm wearing my wedding, I mean my wedding ring. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm wearing my watch. It's a Versace watch that my husband bought me um, for our anniversary back in June. Um, I unboxed it on this channel. And it's just um, like a silver dial and it's two-tone with black and gold. Okay. Oh, I'm not done. <laughs> I have to go over my lipstick. So I'm wearing Bengali. Um, I've worn this one plenty of times. It's one of my favorite um, lipsticks from Christian Louboutin. And the perfume is Judd Dior by Christian Dior. So we're going to go over my Versace earrings. I only have three pair. Um, I looked back at one of my recent videos and I saw that I, um, I think I was wearing a pair of earrings in my rec a recent video that I did a few videos back. And I was like, I don't think I ever did a uh, YouTube video showing my Versace earrings. I think I probably wore them all in a video at least once, but I never did a video showing them. I'm not going to show all my Versace accessories. Uh, I will just go over the earrings. Yeah, right now we're only going to go over the earrings. So these first ones are a pair of hoops. These are still available on the Versace website. I'll try to get close up so you can see. It just has the V and some i don't know i want to call it filigree detail and then the versace head um, at the bottom these are um kind of weighty these are kind of weighty these earrings i don't wear um all day i'd put these on for probably about three or four hours at the most and then i take them off I don't like wearing heavier earrings for long periods of time because I don't want my, um, not only do I not want to stretch the hole in my ear, but I don't want my earlobes to sag. I've seen some women who wear heavier earrings and their earlobes become elongated over time. Um, and I just don't want to do that. So I do wear heavier and bigger earrings sometimes, but I have a maximum on how long I allow myself to wear them. And then I take them off. Um, so I'll give you a tip. If you're going somewhere and you're going to wear big, heavy earrings, put them on right before you get out the car. And as soon as you get back in the car, let that be the first thing you do is take them off. Um, never drive with big, heavy earrings on because um, no matter how smooth the ride is in your car, you're still going to have some bumps in the road. And just that vibration alone is putting a lot of wear and tear on your ears. The holes in your ear and just your earlobe in general. So if I'm going to wear big earrings like this, and some of my earrings I have are even bigger than this. So if you're going to wear big earrings, I would suggest, um, like I said, put them on right before you get out the car. And right when you get back in the car, let's just say you went out to eat or you went to the movies. I don't know where you're going. But let's just say you go wherever you're going. Um, when, when you get back in that car, take those earrings off. Um, so these are those. Another thing that I wanted to say is with Versace, a lot of their um, metal is brass. Brass, if you don't know, is a semi-precious metal. So you have precious metals, which are silver, gold, and platinum. I don't know if palladium is listed as a precious metal or not. It probably is. And then you have semi-precious like um, bronze, brass, and um, copper. So brass has a color like gold. And um, but some places, the jewelry will look gold because it'll be gold-plated, and then it'll be brass. Um, so you're getting a precious metal, which is gold because it's gold plated, but then you're getting a semi-precious metal, which is brass because it's basically hundred percent brass underneath. Um, I look for that when I buy costume jewelry because I don't want it to be mystery metal. If I really like it, then I'll buy mystery metal. For example, Chanel, um, they don't list what their costume jewelry is made out of, but I'm pretty sure it's either gold color, silver color, mystery metal. Um, and that's the stuff you really want to stay away from. But I think it's worth my money if I'm buying gold-plated brass because it's going to last forever, basically. With brass, you use brass cleaner and you clean it up and it looks as good as new. Um, and so, yeah, it's not a precious metal, but it's a semi-precious metal. And I noticed with Versace, a lot of their products 
um, is a the base metal is brass. Uh, if I see something from Versace and I like it and it doesn't say the base metal is brass, then a lot of the times I just won't buy it. But that's what I look for. Like YSL, a lot of the times from YSL, they may sell stuff where the base metal is brass, sometimes Louis Vuitton as well. But you have to um, use the drop down menu and, or look in the description section um, and click around in there and it should tell you what metal the jewelry is made out of. Like I said, if it's not brass, um, if the base metal is not brass, sometimes I make an exception if I really like it. I just know I'm not going to wear it all the time. Um, so yeah, with the brass pieces, the brass plated pieces, they last a long time. These earrings, the last I checked on the Versace website, which was last week, they were still available. I've had these for several years. And from what I know, they've always had, once they came out with this style of earring, they've always had them on the website. Um, yeah, and it's just a hoop that goes in basically like these. But you guys have seen these. You guys have seen me wear these before. The other two I have are studs. Versace always has these stud earrings. Um, last time I checked, they had the gold um, ones. I don't know if those were brass. Like I said, you have to check the drop down menu um, in the description section. But these are, um, what are they? They're resin. So it's just the Medusa head. That's it. It's a resin Medusa head. The post on these, the part that goes through your ear is sterling silver and it's a nickel free sterling silver. So a lot of people probably don't know that either. But sometimes when you look at the Versace website, it may show or say in the description um, that the post that goes through your ear is a nickel free sterling silver. So a lot of the times it's the nickel and sterling silver that will cause people to have irritations or allergies with the jewelry. And so I like the fact that they made it a point to say the posts were made with nickel free sterling silver. These in particular have a gold trim going around, which I'm pretty sure it's gold plated brass. And then the resin is on the front. Um, and then the part that go through your ear, like I said, the, the post that goes through your ear is a nickel free sterling silver. I have worn these before. It was just a plain stud earring. Um, and then I have the white ones. And they're made exactly the same way. They're just white. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Um, I know there's some people that say they don't like wearing costume jewelry or it has to be more to it than just, okay, well, you know, like, is the design good? What, what's going to be the reason why I buy costume jewelry over fine jewelry? Because sometimes, I mean, for the price of these earrings, you can go buy, like, these were a lot cheaper. And these are just 14 karat gold hoops. These were so much cheaper than these. But these are brass. These, they're gold plated brass and they will last just as long as these. And the design to it, there's it's more um design element to these than there are to, to just these so um i'm not one person that will put down costume jewelry i like to do mix and match <laughs> some of my costume jewelry i got earrings i only paid a dollar for and i love them so um eventually you'll probably wind up seeing some of those earrings that i'm talking about the more you know i record the more videos go by but these are some of my most used earrings that I wear all the time. Um, how did I wind up with two pair of these Versace stud earrings? I went into Versace to buy one of my bags that I have on the shelf. And I saw these. And I said, oh, I like those. And I was like, I didn't come in here to get that. <laughs> I have this rule where I go into the store to get only what I... I have something in my mind that I'm going to get. And I go and I buy it. I really don't allow myself to look at anything else. Because that's when I'll just start shopping and buying up everything. So I have to keep focus. I came in here for a bag and that's what I'm going to get. Or I came in here for a bag and pair of shoes. And that's it. So I saw these there and I said, I'm not going to get them because I didn't come here to get those, but I couldn't get them out of my mind. So I turned around, I don't know, a week later, maybe a few days later. And I went back to the Versace store to get these. However, um, they were on sale. They were half off. So I was like, oh, <laughs> well, I get the black ones and the white ones, but they, I've seen them in pink. I've seen them in gold. Um, I'll show the white one and the black one side by side. They have them in a bunch of different colors. And even if they sell out or they're not available on a Versace website right now, they always restock them is what I noticed. So I do plan on buying more costume jewelry from Versace, but um, as far as the earrings go, I just wanted to do, I realized I didn't, um, I never showed the Versace earrings that I have. Um, so I do recommend the costume jewelry from Versace. I think it's made really well, especially if you're going to take the time to click around in the description section, then the little drop down menus and check and see what the metal is made out of. Um, if you don't have an allergy to brass or anything, then I would recommend getting brass plated um, costume jewelry. Um, sometimes you look at the drop down section and it'll just say metal. Um, like I said, I try to stay away from that. But if it's something that I really, really like the design, then I'll buy it anyway. But I'm specifically looking for things that are made with semi-precious metal. So it's not just throwaway jewelry. 
um, it's not fine jewelry, but it's not something that you're just going to have and then throw away either. So that's it. That's all. Um, I will try to list, um, if, it, if these earrings are still available or something similar to it, I'll try to list it on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all. Hopefully this video was able to help someone. I just wanted to go over the Versace earrings that I have. That's it. Bye.